This game recap is brought to you by Manscaped's Foot Duster Foot Deodorant. Say goodbye to stinky foot funk with this essential deodorant spray. Head over to manscaped.com and use the promo code SACCITY for 20% off and free worldwide shipping. The Foot Duster Foot Deodorant by Manscaped. The best protection any place below the waist. The New Orleans Saints fall to the Green Bay Packers 20 to 10 in this week two preseason matchup. AJ, what were your takeaways from this game? Uh, I'm going to go on the Packers side, and I think Romeo Dubs is going to have a bigger slice of this offense than we were originally thinking. I'm not saying Christian Watson's going to be out. We know Randall Cobb's going to get his first couple runs. I know Sammy Watkins will be a week one hero, but after that, you know, he's probably going to just fade into the dust. Uh, <laughs> Ro- Romeo, you got. Hey man, we got to Hey, all right. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take what Aaron's gonna say in five minutes, anyways. The disrespect. You didn't even mention Alan Lazard's name. How dare you? Oh, How dare that's because you? your eyes got big. But that's fine. But, um, no, you were about to. You were about to proceed, and you didn't mention. But you should mention Alan Lazard before Sammy. He said Watkins Randall Cobb and Sammy up. Watkins before he said Alan Lazard. Come I was on, super, man. AJ stayed well, disrespectful. <laughs> I'll give you this. I'll give you, but I also stay consistent. I never say the people we already know about. <laughs> oh, we don't know about Sammy Watkins and Randall Cobb. Gross. No, we don't. We don't you know. You just about say the people that don't deserve offense. airtime. You don't. You say no, the people that be don't deserve offense. airtime. We know Alan Lazard is going to be the ipso facto number one to start the so season. So that should be the we number one Sammy. guy. You say. Why are you That's saying guys that are words. irrelevant? Because those are the guys I mean, that Romeo Dubs will be taking place of. That's the situation. He's not taking Alan Lazard's place. That's the situation. He ain't taking. So when I bring up these guys, these are the people that Romeo Dobbs has a chance. Sorry, since I'm actually saying his name, Romeo Dobbs has a chance to take their place. That is where I'm going with that situation. Good Looking thing. at Good this thing. game and the takeaway, thank you, that I had from this from this game from this was the way they were using him. <laughs> from the this way they were using him, two. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Oh, my God. I thoroughly enjoyed <laughs> watching. <laughs> I can't with y'all. I can't with y'all. <laughs> Great game. Love this touchdown. Next, other side of the ball. Hey, hey oh, I, will say, I will say this. Packers fans absolutely hate us. Like, normally we have people hate us for, like, bad takes or whatever. Packers fans hate us only because we still say Romeo Dubs. And if you, again, if you're watching this, we say Romeo Dubs because, well, one, it's much more fun. And we know that it's Dubs, but he's (laughs) Romeo Dubs getting them Dubs. Nobody cares what Packers fans think. They should be worried about not having punts blocked in the playoffs and losing games. Anyways. Oof. Um, look, man, I'm, I'm not going to be disrespectful here. The only thing that mattered in this game is when Chris Olave caught a touchdown. Shout out, Chris Olave. Congratulations on your first career NFL touchdown, even though it was in the preseason. Two catches, 28 yards, and a touchdown from Ian Book, albeit. That's uh, that's spectacular. Um, and we know Michael Thomas is not playing. It matters. Jarvis Landry's not out there. I, I think that matters in the fact that Chris Olave is not going to get as many looks as obviously um, some may have thought when he first got drafted. For year one, year one. But he does look to be playing pretty well. And um, I, I was impressed by the fact that he was able to get in the end zone there and score. So um, shout out to him. I don't think anything else really matters for the Saints because they didn't play anybody else that mattered. Um, maybe you could say a Taysom Hill showing some t- some tight end usage um, was an interesting point. But outside of that, I thought it was Chris Olave. I think something that definitely has to be brought up, though, is the Jordan Love situation. Uh, after the game, Matt LaFleur came out and said, and was very high on Jordan Love, came out and said, I think he's light years ahead of where he was a year ago. I think if you ask our guys in that locker room, every one of them would tell you they've got a lot of confidence in him. Not saying he's going to dethrone Aaron Rodgers anytime soon, but after last season's performance against the Chiefs, there were starting people were starting to kind of be down on Jordan Love, and maybe that's an overreaction. Um, but it's good signs from Matt Lafleur, Matt Matt Lafleur, uh, for Jordan Love. Aaron, what's the top play from this game? You know what it is. It's my boy Chris Olave, my favorite player in the NFL. Just that little back shoulder fade. He throws a little athleticism in there by doing a somersault, you know. And then he has to celebrate, basically talking shit to me 
that's for you, Aaron, right there. He's throwing his hands up. Um, but yeah, you know, I had to show him some love. It was one of those one of those guys that obviously I've been pretty down on. Uh, it was the only touchdown for the Saints in the game. Uh, but again, shout out to Chris Olave. Next up for the Packers, they head to Kansas City to take on the Chiefs on Thursday. And for the Saints, they host the Chargers on Friday to wrap up their preseason. 